Okay, so we're working on Euler's method here, and we're going to um, solve this differential equation to find the approximate value of 1.3 with this particular step size. So what Euler's method says is yn is yn minus 1 plus h, which is my step, times the derivative of uh, whatever my x and y value is for the value previous to y sub n. And so here, y sub n is y n minus 1. h is my step, which is 0 0.1, times the derivative, which is 2, x sub n minus 1 times y sub n minus 1 over 1 plus x sub n minus 1 squared. There's my formula for my y. And my x value is going to be x sub n minus 1 plus the step of 0.1. And in our solutions on our tests, you are expected to write both of these. There have been a couple videos where I've forgotten to include the x, so please make sure you don't forget the x. All right, so we're going to set up our table for n, for x, n, and y sub n. And I know this is going to be 0. My initial value, when x is 1, y is 3, and I'm going to go to 1.3. So I know it's going to be 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 and 1.3. So I'm really going to go for iterations of Euler's method. So going to my formula now, my first value is n is 0. And then I know here's my x value. I have to make sure I add each time I'm going to add 0.1, enter. And my first initial x value is also 1, so that's good as is. And then it's y n sub 1 plus, and I'm going to be delete a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be here. Oh, delete a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's see where I am in my. So here's my y n sub 1 plus. 0 0.1 times this mess here. So the top of the fraction is 2 x uh, n minus 1 times the y of uh, n minus 1. Close parenthesis and divide by the bottom parenthesis and be 1 plus my x value is the slope of n minus 1, and I'm going to square that. Close the bottom, and that should be good. And then my first y value is actually going to be 3. So now when I go to my table, I get 1, 3, and then 1.1 is going to be 3.3 and then 3.628 and then finally and if I look at that come here I get uh, 3.9854 so this is the approximate value based upon Euler's method and that is A part. B part wants me to actually solve this differential equation. So when I'm going to take this value, this, I'm going to solve it, I know I'm going to separate my variables. So the y is going to be 1 over y dy is equal to 2x over 1 plus x squared dx because I move the dx over move the y over, and then I get this. Taking the integral, I know this is ln of y is equal to. Now, taking the integral of this, I have, I'm have i going to say, well, let u equal 1 plus x squared. So du is equal to 2x dx, which clearly I can see that this is that. So this is du. And so I know it's the same thing as saying 
du over 1 over u. So ln y is equal to ln u plus c, which is going to be equal to ln 1 plus x squared plus c. And I know my initial conditions are uh, the point 1 comma 3. So if I plug in ln of 3 is equal to the ln of 2 plus c. So ln 3 minus ln 2 is equal to c. So ln 3 halves is equal to c. How about I do it differently? I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to first change it to y. I'm going to put this e to the ln 1 plus x squared plus c, which I know this is 1 plus x squared times e to the c, which is just some constant c. e to the c is just another constant c. So now when I plug this value in, I like this a lot better. 3 is equal to 2 times c. So c is equal to 3 halves. And so y is equal to 3 halves, 1 plus x squared. And I'm looking to find the value at 1.3. So if I'm going to find y at 1.3, I get 3 halves. 1 plus 1.3 squared. Using my calculator, 1.5 times 1 plus 1.3 squared. Close that parenthesis and I get a value of 4.035. And so when I take this value, 4.035, and this value, we're asked to find the absolute error. So the percent error is going to be the absolute value of 3.9854 minus 4.035. Yep, absolute value divided by 4.035 times the 100. And so let us see what we get we get 3.9854 minus 4.035 divided 4.035 times 100. It means I will get 1.23% error. I've done the absolute value in my head. And so there we can solve it by separable equations because that's a special one that actually works this time or we could do or this method which is a pretty good approximation.